what's happening? And welcome back to Gentleman's Council. I am Adrian Taylor. And you already know, man, before we get started, make sure to like, share, and subscribe to this video because ultimately it helps the channel grow. And when you share, make sure to use the hashtag free game so that way we can find you and show you some love. And without further ado, man, let's get started. So you already know what you need to do. Make sure to get your pen, your pad, and pull up and ride with your big bro. So in our last video, we talked about <laughs> mindset, right? And so I had a couple people asking me, yo, what do you mean by changing your mindset, right? What exactly does that mean? So I'm going to give you some examples of what I mean. And sometimes we're unconscious of the things that we do because it's just second nature to us. Things that we was taught, right? So I grew up poor. And growing up poor, and I'm pretty sure some of y'all can relate to this. If you had multiple boxes of cereal in your house, right? You could only open one box at a time. And you couldn't eat or open another box until you finished that one box of cereal that was open. Why is that? Because your parents said so. But when you think about it, right? You're probably doing that same thing now as an adult. And you have no rhyme or reason of why you're doing it. You have multiple boxes of cereal in your house and you refuse to open multiple boxes at the same time because why? Wow, that's how you grew up. Now, do you plan on eating all the cereal? Sure. So why can't you open up all the boxes of cereal in the house? Because it was what you was taught. See, a lot of times we are taught things that have no rhyme or reason. And it becomes gospel to us. It becomes truth to us. You opening up multiple boxes of cereal is not hurting you. It's not being wasteful, as you may have been taught as well. It's not any of that. It's a limiting belief. It's having you to think in a fixed mindset, mindset instead of abundance. Right? Think about it. Think about something that minute, that small in your mind that you like, yo, I cannot do it because of that. Think about growing up, you had to eat all the food off of your plate, right? This is a big one for me. This is so hard for me because my parents made me eat every single bite even if I was full, I would still eat every single bite. Why? Because you don't want to waste any food. Well, you shouldn't have put that much food on my plate in the first place. Whew. I'm just saying. But you have this limited belief that you have to eat everything off your plate. Why? When you really sit back and think about it, it don't make sense because you was taught. Most of the things that we do is because we were taught, whether they were right or wrong. Our parents might, have necessarily, might not have necessarily taught us the right way of going about things. Some of the things that you're going through, you have a fixed mindset, a limited mindset, and you don't even know that you have it. I mean, I can make multiple and multiple, multiple examples of this, but all of them are gonna come out to, why do you do it? And it's just because simply that's how you saw it, right? And I say all that to say, if you've never seen someone make a million dollars, how can you believe that it can happen for you? Gotta change your mindset. Hey Amen. 
got your free game. Now go apply it. <laughs>